Welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to find the equation of the tangent to the curve given by that equation at the point where x is equal to negative 1. So this is a very simple question. So I'm going to use calculus to solve this question because uh, that's the simplest method that you can use. Alright, so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click on the subscription button right now and if you have any questions in math, physics, or chemistry, feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen. Okay, let's quickly begin. So this is a very simple question, like I said. So we have been given the question as... So we've been given the question as y is equal to... Uh, we have 2x plus 3 to the power 3. And I'm going to use what is known as chains rule to differentiate this because the first de derivative of any equation uh, of any equation is known as the gradient function yeah so when we differentiate this the the solution that we are going to get is known as the dif the the gradient function and using the chain rule the chain rule states that dy dx is simply just equal to mm -hmm. du um simply just equal to du dx times dy du where am i getting these u's so i forgot to mention to you that chain rule is used to differentiate composite functions meaning a function in a function so in this case we have two functions the first the, the first function that we have is simply just u is equal to um, this part here which is in the bracket so we have 2x plus 3 this is our first function the second function that we have is y is equal to this part we've declared it to be u so meaning we put u where there's this part and we raise it to the power 3 there so this is the second part that we have so meaning using chains rule we can uh, i mean the chains rule states this is what the chains rule states that it, it states it says that dy dx is equal to du dx times dy du and in this case let us find what du dx is and dy du is so finding du dx we get this equation so we're going to get our u is equal to 2x plus 3 therefore du dx gives us what just 2 when you differentiate this part you are just going to get 2 because the power here is 1 so when you differentiate x you're getting 1 when you differentiate 2x you're just going to remain with a constant there Remember how to differentiate um, uh, when you have a question, okay, the basics of differentiation. Huh? When you have a question which is like y is equal to a x to the power n. D differentiating this one to find dy dx, you simply just have to multiply the power with the coefficient. So the power is n times a, mm -hmm. you're getting a times n there. And then x, from the power there you subtract what? 1 so you're going to have n minus 1 so this is how you differentiate so the way i found 2 here u is equal to 2x so x is raised to the power 1 so 1 times 2 so i'm trying to find du dx 1 times 2 the answer is what 2 and then i'll write this x and then n minus 1 so i'm subtracting 1 from that one which will give me 0 so anything raised to the power 0 gives you what 1 so this is just the same as 2 times 1 because x to the power 0 is 1. 2 times 1 gives you what? 2. This is how I found that 2. And the derivative of any constant is equal to 0. That's why I have not included 3 there. Okay. So du dx is simply just 2. Let us also find um, what the other... So let us also find what uh, dy du is so from from that equation we get our dy du so y is equal to u to the power 3 and dy du dy du is equal to 3 times the coefficient there that's going to give you what 3 and then we subtract 1 from 3 we're getting 2 so this is our dy du okay so let us quickly now plug the solutions into the um, into the formula to find the solution to find the final solution so 
our dy dx will therefore be equal to du dx has been given as 2 I mean has been found as to be 2 so we're multiplying this with this part which is dy du which is 3 u to the power 2 mm -hmm. but do you know what u is u is simply just this expression there that's what we have as our u so we put it in there so we have 2 times 3 the answer is what 6 2 times 3 the answer is 6 then what there is u I'm putting this part there so we have 2x plus 3 and then we are raising it to the power 2 mm -hmm. so we have dy dx as 6 then we have 2x plus 3 to the power 2 so this is exactly the solution or rather this is the first derivative of um, that given equation so this is the gradient function of this equation so you have done the first part you have found what the solution is so the shortest way of finding the answer that we have found there is simply just by doing this so the shortest way is dy dx so this is the short form of the chains rule you are going to differentiate what is inside so when you differentiate what is inside you are getting two and then these two you are multiplying it with the power so three times um uh, three the power here is what is three so i'm going to write my three there so i'm multiplying the derivative of what is inside times the power and then i'll open the brackets i'll have two x plus three raised to the power three minus one the answer is two so our dy dx will therefore be equal to 2 times 3, you are getting 6, open brackets, you are writing your 2 plus 3 raised to the power 2. So that is the shortest form of using chains rule. So now, using that same solution that we have found there, let us estimate what the gradient, uh, I mean, let us estimate, um, the question is asking us to find the equation of the tangent of, uh, to the curve where y is equal to that at the point where x is equal to negative one so let us now um find the equation so how do you find the equation we have found the gradient function so now to find the gradient because you can't find the equation of a tangent if you don't have the gradient because the equation of a tangent or i mean the equation of a straight line is given by was a, tan a tangent here is considered to be a straight line so uh, the equation of a straight line is given as is, is given by y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 so this is the equation of a straight line so we need to find what y1 is and x1 is and apart from that we also need to have the gradient for us to use this equation so now the gradient this one is our gradient function so to find the gradient, so the gradient is simply just dy dx at the point where x is equal to what? Negative 1. We've been given that x is equal to negative 1. So we replace where there is x in this equation by negative 1. So we have 2, negative 1 there. And, oh sorry, let me write it properly. So we have 6 outside. In brackets we have 2, negative 1 there then plus 3 raised to the power 2 so when you simplify this you have 6 negative 2 plus 3 that will give you um, 1 1 squared is 1 so 6 is um, the gradient so the gradient is simply just equal to 6 what is our x1 so our x1 has been given to be negative 1 and then our x2 you find uh, rather your y1 and then your y1, you find it by replacing this same x into the same equation that we've been given there. So let us find what um, what y1 is. So we find what y is because we already have x. Because you need to have a set of um, cord a coordinate which is going to have x1 and y1. So we have our x1. Let us find what y1 is. So y is equal to what is x i'm putting what negative one so i'm going to have two negative one there 
and then you say plus 3 raised to the power 3 and this is going to be negative 2 plus 1 that will give us what positive 1 positive 1 raised to the power 3 it will still be positive 1 so our y1 is also positive 1 there i mean is 1 so we replace everything that we what that we have found in this equation so we have y minus y1 is 1 is equal to m my gradient is what 6 so i'm putting 6 there open brackets x minus x1 is negative 1 so i'm putting negative 1 there so y minus 1 is equal to 6 x negative negative there we have positive 1 there and then we simplify it further we take this negative 1 to the other side of the equal sign y is equal to 6 times x 6 times x will give us what 6x 6 times 1 this will give us 6 then when this negative 1 crosses the equal sign it will become positive 1 hence the equation is therefore going to be equal to um, 6x plus 7 so this is the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point where x is equal to negative 1 so this is the equation that they wanted you to find if they ask you for the equation of the normal to the curve if they ask you of the, for the equation of the normal to the curve you simply just have to uh, change the gradient here so you say m1 times m2 gives you what negative 1 to find m2 m1 is the equation of the tangent to find m2 you are going to make m2 the subject meaning this will be negative 1 over m1 so meaning you simply just say your gra the gradient of the normal is equal to negative 1 over 6 and this is what you just put there the rest is the the, the other steps are all the same so what will just change is the gradient if they ask you for the equation of the normal to the curve but this in this case they ask for the equation of the tangent to the curve which is this same solution which is on the screen right now thank you very much for watching today's tutorial see you in the next tutorial video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel click on the subscription button in case you have any questions that you would want to ask me feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen don't forget to click the notification button as well my name is Hampted. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.